Welcome back to Wave of Docker. Today's episode or video will be Wave Series episode six, talking about NFL Week Nine. Uh, last week I went twelve and four, which is pretty pretty impressive. Uh, I think that moves me up to let's think here thirty five and twenty three, something around those lines. Uh, but yeah, really good week last week, twelve and four. Pretty impressed with myself. Uh, only well, there's four teams off, so there's only fourteen games this week. So you know, opportunity to move up to maybe 49 and 23, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, only 14 games this week. Uh, pretty big week, actually, some pretty big matchups uh, that we'll talk about later in the video. But yeah, Wave Series Episode 6, NFL Week 9. Let's get into it, like and subscribe, and let's just get into these picks. First up, Thursday Night Football, Titans versus Steelers. I'm going to take the Titans. Uh, Will Levis is going to be the starting quarterback on Thursday, and he actually had a pretty good game last week for his NFL debut. He had four tutties and like 290 passing yards. Looked pretty good. And the Steelers are just kind of a weird team this year, but I just think the Titans are just a little bit weirder, a little bit better. So I'm going to take the Titans. Next up, just because this is, it's not next up chronologically, but it's just next up on how ESPN had it laid out. Uh, Eagles-Cowboys, pretty big game. First Eagles-Cowboys matchup of the year. Eagles standing at 7-1. and one. Cowboys are standing at like 5-2, and two, I think. Uh, I'm going to take my birds. Uh, like I said before, I'm always going to take my Eagles, no matter what. But I genuinely think they're going to win. Uh, they had a really big game last week against the Commanders. Uh, another close game against Washington, which I just hate. I hate to see that. But uh, it's over with. We're not playing Washington again the rest of the year. Unless we see them in the playoffs somehow. But yeah, we had a big game last week. 38-31. to 31, Big win. Jalen Hurts looked awesome. We got Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, AJ Brown had another huge game. Had that one-hander catch. Devontae Smith looked great. Uh, Swift had a pretty good, pretty good game. Julio Jones got his first touchdown as the Eagle. Just a big week, a lot of firsts last week, a lot of just big games for each of our players. And the Cowboys had a bye last week, so they had a little cold maybe, or a little well-rested. It just kind of depends. But I'm going to take the Eagles. I just think we're built better this year than them. And I don't know. I just think, I, I just hate the Cowboys. I'm just I'm just inclined to believe that Dak Prescott sucks. And yeah, I mean, they're missing Trevon Diggs. So, I mean, they have Stephon Gilmore, but like, who's going to cover Devontae Smith? You know? I think I'm calling it a big Smitty game this weekend. But yeah, Eagles, Cowboys, I'm taking my birds. Next up, Chiefs, Dolphins in Germany. I'm going to take the Chiefs. Both teams are 6-2. and two. Both teams are really good. Uh, the Chiefs had a pretty shocking loss last weekend to, um, let me grab some more, to the Broncos, 24-9 in mile high. Which surprised me, but I think they're going to bounce back. and This should be a good game. Uh, both pretty high-powered offenses. Uh, they'll be high scoring. You know, good for Germany. Good to see that game. But I think I think the Chiefs are going to win this one. Next up is Atlanta versus Minnesota. Uh, I'm going to take the Falcons. Uh, Taylor Heineke was named the starter for Atlanta. And some rookie, I forget his name, was named the starter for the Vikings because Kirk Cousins unfortunately tore his Achilles, which kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not sure when Jettis is going to be back. But if it's this week, actually, I might I might pick the Vikings. But since I don't know, I'm going to take, take the Falcons. Next up is Browns Cardinals. I'm gonna take the Browns. Uh, Kyler Murray is set to be back this week. I think that, I think that kind of just hurts the Cardinals. I don't really, I don't really think Kyler Murray is that good. I think you know after they trade Josh Dobbs, I just feel like chemistry is gonna be a little low. I mean they're like tied for the worst record in football. The Cardinals kind of suck this year. Only wins against the Cowboys, which I think is just pretty funny. But I just think the Browns are just better. And I'm hoping that PJ Walker starts again because I, I hope Deshaun Watson never touches the football field ever again. Go Browns. Go PJ Walker. We share a last name, and that's cool. Next up is Rams Packers. I'm going to take the Rams. Both of these teams have been pretty mediocre this year. Uh, Jordan Love is just not a very good quarterback, and the Rams are just, they just sold their soul to win a Super Bowl. So they're not very good either. But, you know, the Rams have Koopa, Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. So I'm going to take the Rams. Next up is Patriots Commanders. I'm going to take the Patriots. Uh, last week, or the last time, so after the Eagles beat the Commanders the first time in overtime, the following week I took the Commanders to win. I thought, you know, oh, they're actually better than I thought, but they lost. So I'm going to do the same thing this week. In the past, I'm going to beat the Commanders. The Commanders just used all their energy to beat the, the not even beat, to just compete with the Eagles last week. So they're going to be burnt out. Go Patriots. Beat the Commanders. Next up is Chicago versus New Orleans. I'm going to take the Bears. Uh, I think the Bears are still sorry on that rookie guy, that rookie D2 white guy. And I don't know. I just like him. I think the Saints are just kind of bad. I think Derek Carr is just bad. He should have never left Las Vegas. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take the Bears. Next up is Seahawks-Ravens. Both of these teams are pretty good this season. 
I'm gonna take the Seahawks. Uh, I was talking with some of my buddies this weekend. I was just saying that the Ravens are like one of the weirdest teams in the NFL. Like when they when they're on, they're on. But when they're off, they're very off. And I think this week they're gonna be off, and they're gonna drop a game to the Seahawks. So yeah, Seattle Seattle over Baltimore. Next up is Texans Buccaneers. I'm gonna take the Texans. Uh, Texas Tech. Uh, Houston did lose last week to Carolina, but I still think CJ Stroud's really good. And the Buccaneers that just kind of just kind of seem like a nothing burger team. <laughs> that whole conference just kind of sucks. The NFC South. Obviously, the Texans aren't in that, but I just think, just NFC South tangent, I just think the Bucks are all right. I just think the Texans are more all right, and they're going to win. Next up is Colts and Panthers. Uh, unfortunately, you know, this isn't going to be another rookie quarterback matchup as Anthony Richardson is down, but I don't think the Colts anyway. The Panthers did end up winning last week, last week but that was just because of a field goal. It wasn't really because of Bryce Young, but um, I don't know. I like the Colts. I like the Colts with Gardner Minshew. I think that's they're still, he's still starting for them, maybe. But if not, still, I'm going to take the Colts because the Panthers are just kind of mid. Next up is Raiders-Giants. I'm going with the Raiders. Uh, that McConnell kid is actually going to be the start of the rest, the rest of the way. Uh, Josh McDaniels did get, did get fired yesterday. Maybe this morning. I don't know. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. But I don't know. I like him. And the Giants just kind of suck ass. So, yeah, I think they're going to lose to the Raiders. Next up, big game. Bengals-Bills. First matchup since the DeMar Hamlin incident. Uh, I'm going to take the Bengals. I think the Bengals are kind of on a roll right now. Uh, Joe Burrow got things figured out, and he's playing like, you know, he's usually capable of, of playing. Uh, and the Bengals are just a good football team. And the Bills are kind of in the same vein as the Ravens. Like, I think when they're when they're on their own and when they're off, they're off. So I'm going to take the Bengals in this game. This should be a good game, though. High-powered offense is going at it. Should be a good game. And finally, uh, the Chargers versus the Jets. I'll go with the Chargers. Yeah, Chargers Jets. I'm going with the Chargers. Um, no real reason. I just kind of, in my gut, I like Justin Herbert a lot. I like Justin Herbert more than Zach Wilson. And, you know, these are just both kind of just mediocre teams. So, I'm taking a mediocre pick. Picking the Chargers. But, yeah, hopefully I can go 14-0 this week. You know, we got close. 12-4 last week. You know, we're on the upward, upward trend. We're doing good. So, let's hope I can get all these picks right. And, I don't know, maybe win somebody some money if they use my picks. But, whatever. All right. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video. And let me know if you want to see any ideas for context. I'm kind of, kind of drawing a blank right now, but whatever. Peace out.